Hey guys, how you doing? So I've decided to uh, pressurize another can to failure. And I've got the uh, fitting soldered on here. Instead of using a torch, I used soldering iron this time. And it, it actually does just a, a much better job. And the reason I chose this can is not only do you have a crimped on end here, crimped on end here, crimped on end here, for the push button but it's also been welded right here so this is a originally starts out as a flat piece of uh, tin they form it into a cylinder and then they weld it so it's going to be interest interesting to see uh you know what ends up giving up first so pretty much the same as the uh, last one i'm going to hook my uh six thousand pound nitrogen bottle to this got a pressure gauge i'm going to try to set it up better this time so that whenever the uh, concussion happens from the explosion that it doesn't black out the camera uh, so i'm going to have the camera sitting up off of that window a little bit so that the shock from it doesn't jar it so hard that it loses the uh, video footage so it's going to be interesting to see how this one holds up compared to the uh, other one my guess either this end's going to blow off or this end's going to blow off I don't think the fitting's going to give, and I really don't think this weld's going to give, but this is possible too. It might split right here where this is welded, but the most interesting part is going to see how much pressure it will hold before whatever part of this does give up, you know, gives up. Uh, you know, that's kind of the safety factor that we're looking for is how much can you actually pressurize one of these if you're going to put the Schrader valve, you know, in it. Uh, you know, we need to know what a safe pressure is so anyway let me get the so let me get it set up and we're going to uh do this all right guys i got all three cameras rolling let's get going Well, okay, we, I guess I'm going to have to do something about the light, it looks like. So, uh, it did not blow the compartment apart, which is good. It did blow the light off there, so I don't know if we're going to have any good footage. Oh, wow, it did blow the, uh, look at that.
did blow the side out. So, yeah, I don't know if the light uh, stayed on long enough to get the explosion, but we'll find out. Anyway, let me uh, get this thing taken apart. Well, okay, so the, the bottom end stayed intact, but it's the top end that blew off. And of course it ripped, look at that, it ripped the, uh, ripped the fitting off. So I heard just a little bit of a pop before, uh, before the whole thing gave, and I stopped and went over and looked because I thought that you know it, it gave it up but i guess it was this piece popping out before the rest of it blew and of course it gave us our l-shaped uh, copper tube again so again i don't know what the uh, pressure was that it finally took to blow that end off but uh we'll see whenever uh whenever i edit this video anyway another can uh as you can see the weld uh the weld hung in there doesn't even look like it was about to give up so yeah if, you, if you're worried about what part of a can is gonna gonna give it up first it's gonna be either the bottom where it's crimped on or if you have one of these cans with a top that's crimped on uh, it's gonna be gonna be one of them that's why, if I was you, I would use a can like this, that it's only got one crimped on bottom, and then other than this part that's crimped on, you can see that that's a lot smaller. So there's not near the pressure per square inch on this piece than there is on the bottom. You know, this is just all one piece right here, plus this, this can here is all one uh, one piece the way the way this one is. See, this one's not welded. It's a solid. It's a solid can. But even the welded ones, as we just saw, uh, the weld itself will not will not give. Anyway, we're done. You guys take care.